Um, I'm not going to make the virtual quiz tonight. Yes, I know it's your birthday and we do it every year. And I realise that it starts in a couple of seconds. Yes, yes, I'm an adult now and I make my own choices. And I shouldn't be petrified of telling my mum how I really feel. Uncle Marcus, I didn't expect to hear from you. Hey, kid. Listen, I'm really sorry that I missed you at the family meeting last week. Work had this big case and I, I tried to tell them that it was my last chance to see you. It's okay. It's okay. I understand. I know, but I, I really wanted to see you before you went back to LA. I've not seen you in so long. I'm sorry, too. More than you can possibly believe. What's up? Did something happen at the meeting? I mean, other than the we hate... Marcus Club shouting at you about how they could run the business better than you. Yeah. Something did happen, and that's why I needed to talk to you, Abby. I need your help. Yeah, of course. Anything. You know that. Um, what do you want me to do? I need you to investigate a murder. Oh, this is a prank, right? I wish. Murder? Who's been killed? Me. What? Huh? I... I don't... I don't understand. I've been poisoned. Abby, I'm dying. And it was someone at the family meeting. The family? No. <laughs> no. My doctors have confirmed it. It's the only possible time it could have happened. Someone who was at the family meeting poisoned me. I don't know who, and I don't know how. But they did. But can't they treat you? Can't they... they don't know what the poison was. They're working on it, but they can't start treating me until they know. Well, there must be something that they can do. Oh, well, I did a lot of hard living in the 80s, kiddo. My body ain't what it used to be. And if they were to treat me with the wrong thing, that could kill me. Sorry, kiddo. How... how long... How long have I got? They say it's hours. This can't be real. That's why I need your help, Abby. I need you to find out who did this tonight. Me? No, I... I can't. I mean... How? The quiz. Everyone's gonna be there, Abby. You need to question them. Find out who in the family wants me dead. What if... what if they find out what I'm doing? What... what will they think? Abby, I'm dying. Who cares what they think? Let me ask you a question, kid. Why are you working in law? Because, because mom, the family, they decided that that's what I should do. Exactly. And if you weren't part of this fucked up family and you weren't still looking for their approval, what would you be doing? You know what? Yeah, I know what. I just want you to say it again to make sure you haven't forgotten. I want to design games. So you need to shake them off, Abby. This whole rotten family, like I did. <laughs> well, you didn't shake them off too well if one of them's trying to kill you. Okay, you got, you got a point there, kiddo. <sighs> oh, shit. Mum's calling me. Don't answer it. Come on, Abby, ignore her, please. She knows how to leave a message. Oh, sorry. Hi, Mum. Any particular reason you're making me wait on my birthday? Sorry, Mum, I'm, I'm just getting ready. I don't ask for much, Abby, but I do ask that you respect the family. Family is everything to me. As your grandfather, God rest his soul, used to say, there's me and there's you. And the family's the glue. Ah, oh, you remember it. Well, I suggest you start acting like it. Yes, Mum. Hurry up! Wow, you're right. You really needed to answer that. Well, I should really get to the quiz before Mum kills me. That wasn't going to be a joke. I know. You can do this. I believe in you, Abby. You know them. You know what makes them tick, right? Use that to your advantage. What if I screw it up? Well, 
I am betting my life on that not happening. Okay, I'll try. I'll be here, listening. <clears throat> I'll help as much as I can. Remember, Abby, find the poison, find the proof, find the killer. I just don't understand why there always has to be this big song and dance about Flick's birthday. This isn't just about me, June. It's about us, the family, spending quality time together. And I'm sorry we don't do the same thing on your birthday. I'm not sure anyone really remembers when it is. Hi. Oh, Abby. Is that the big entrance you made us sit around for? Sorry, Mum. Right. Now we're all here together. Is there something everyone would like to say to me, considering what day it is? Well, we're all here, aren't we? What more do you want? A bloody parade? Want me to pull some fireworks out of my asshole? I thought you'd be thanking me, June. Perfect excuse for a drink. What's your reason every other day of the week? You girls are as bad as each other. Pull your camera down, down. That better? Perfect, Mummy. I think. We should all sing Mum Happy Birthday. Oh, Lottie, don't be so crass. Happy birthday is so bloody depressing. I don't even like the phrase. Do you know what they say in the Basque region? <laughs> Sorianak Zuri. Isn't that delightful? Ah, uh, can everyone hear me? Great. Now listen, I actually think the birthdays are a really good time to do a little bit of a privilege audit, you know? Really take a look. And that's why they invented the mute button. So, where's Bradley the bedroom boy? Bradley, Her Royal Highness Auntie Felicity requests your presence. So do you want to get your pallid features in front of a webcam? Oh, nice of you to dress up for the occasion, Bradley. So don't you want to wish your auntie Zoria Nagzuri? Uh, I don't know what that is, but... I mean, if this is about your birthday... If you I... say one syllable about birthdays just being a day closer to death, I will mute you like I muted your brother. <sighs> yeah, but that's what birthdays are, though. Signposts pointing towards the grave, you know? <sighs> Let's get on with the quiz before I mute you all. Hasn't anyone got something nice to say? Uh, happy birthday, Mum. What? Oh, Abby. <laughs> Completely forgotten you were there. Anyway, now, down to the first order of business. Whose turn is it to ask the first round of questions? Well, fine. Well, we'll have to pick someone. Who hasn't done one recently? Me. Not you. Abby, come talk to me a second. Boy, they can't even pretend to like each other for five minutes, can they? I really don't think I could do this. Look, it's only asking questions. You know them. You just need to figure out how to get them talking. Right, and start simple. Just go back in there and see if you can figure out whose round is first. It's just like gathering evidence. Just give it a shot. Okay. Look. I'm sorry, okay? This part of East Africa, it's amazing, but 4G isn't a strong point. But all I'm saying is I might cut in and out. Well, I'm not going first. It's my birthday. Your mom's on the warpath. I would just leave her alone for now. I think your best chance of success is probably speaking with Lottie, Toby, or if you're feeling brave enough, Auntie June. But Mama, maybe because it's your birthday, that's why you should go first? No. Well, how about nobody goes first and then we can all just fuck off to bed? <sighs> Hi, Toby. Yeah, you're going to have to speak up, Abs. Traffic in these war-torn places is going to be pretty heavy. But you know me, I'll do anything for a good cause. Sorry, can you hear me now? Yeah, Abs, you're going to have to repeat that. Uh, no, I was just, I was just oh, saying... Matt, this traffic is crazy. 
Who are you helping now, Toby? The people of Earth. Same as always. Of course. Just doing what I was born to do. Anything specific? Yeah, we're looking at areas to build a new school. But the area we're looking at is thick with militia. That's the risk you take when you're helping people divided by civil war. Oh, wow, that sounds really scary. <sighs> Trust me, Abs, you take your life into your own hands coming out here. But it's just something I've got to do, you know? Well, you're so brave. <laughs> Did you, uh, fly out after the meeting? The meeting? Yeah. Yeah, good to get away from that, that whole scene. The family business is for the corporate slaves, like your mum. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in a totally different headspace now. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Bye. Oh, you see what I mean? I can't do this. It's okay. You can learn from this, kiddo. Maybe try something different next time. Time to get back to the quiz. Jesus Christ, I give up my only birthday every year for this family, and this is how you repay me. Don't stress, Mama, okay? I'll go first. I haven't thought of anything to do on my round, though, so... It's gonna have to be questions off the top of my head, like... I don't know. Questions about me? Everyone pick your teams, please. Toby, do you want to team up with me? Ah, uh, did someone just say my name? Yeah, I was asking if you wanted to... Sorry! Gonna have to speak up. Signal's breaking up. Do you want to team up with me? Still can't hear anything. Do you want... Oh, Toby, just stop pricking about and team up with your brother. <sighs> Fine. Who's next? Teams? Yeah, I... Uh, I just need to go to the loo. Oh, Jesus Christ, Dad. What the hell is this quiz? Chaos. You play the whole thing in teams? Sort of. We pick a new team each round. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I can't remember how it started. Probably some doomed attempt to make things fair or avoid another fight. You know what they're like. I sure do, kid. I sh <laughs> Are you OK? Uh, I've been better. You better go pick a teammate. Oh, I'm not starting with mummy. I'll be through this bottle before the first question. Well, you getting through that bottle has nothing to do with mum. Girls, behave yourselves. What would your father say if he saw you like this? Why do you have to bring daddy into everything? I mean, you're talking to us like we were children. June started it. Okay, ready? Question one. Grime legend Capsi recently described my debut track as sick, but what is the track called? Or is that too easy? Uh, no, I think it's okay. Let's start easy and see how we go. Oh, I completely zoned out of that. What was the question? Uh, what is Lottie's song called? Uh, songs from a strangulated cat. Ballad of a Teenage Narcissist Ho. <laughs> Actually, I do know what it's called. She's rammed it down our throats enough times. It's called Vibin' It. Mm. What does that even mean? It sounds like a massage chair. Or a sex toy. Uh, well, a, a vibe is like a sort of a feeling. Don't patronise me. Sorry. I I thought Just that... ask the question. My first track is called Vadin' It! <laughs> Not a single wrong answer there. Clearly a lot of fans on the floor tonight. <laughs> Your sister, Abigail, is an asshole. Who does she get it from? Question two, Capsy loved my track so much he had me guest on his latest song. What's it called? That's something foreign, isn't it? Asian. The word's Asian. What? Just put that down before we run out of time. Asian. That's good enough. I, I'm pretty sure it's arigato. Well, what the hell is that? Thank you, in Japanese. That's Asian. I said Asian. Japan's Asian, isn't it?
Right, the answer is arigato. Christ, what a little rubbish. Uh, just give me a minute. I need to think of question three. How has she heard from at the meeting? Just to see the look on your face. What do you mean? Oh, didn't your precious Uncle Marcus tell you? What? He burnt his hand. Poor lamb. Well, I burnt his hand. Accidentally, but I rather wish I'd thought of it. What, what happened? Well, I had a little stumble and I knocked one of my candles, which landed on Marcus. And straight away, his jumper just woof, up in flames. Now, quality clothing does not burn like that. So it just goes to show, doesn't matter how much money that man makes, he will never not be a cheap skate titus. Anyway, Toby claims he was just trying to douse the flames, so he threw his drink right in Marcus's face, nowhere near the flames. So then your mother threw her drink on him as well, which did put out the fire, which was kind of a shame. But Marcus started wailing like a girl about his hand. He was in agony. So Lottie ran in with a wet rag and started rubbing it all over his burns. It was hilarious. So then your nana got involved and started bandaging his hand. And then Bradley came in with some painkillers and the fun was sort of over really then, which was sort of sad. But you know, if it had been just me, I'd have left him to it. But he did look like he'd been dragged through a hedge backwards and forwards again. It's all really rather wonderful. Question three. According to a recent poll from my fans, what is my greatest strength? Oh, right. Now, so this is the bit when she starts bragging about her singing voice, isn't it? Actually, I think Lottie might think greatest strength means something else. Like what? I think she means her eyebrows. I mean... Why are we even playing along with this? These aren't questions. She's just manipulating us into giving her praise and compliments. It is pathetic. I do honestly think she'll say her eyebrows. The answer is obviously my eyebrows. Good Lord, she's worse than I thought. I was really surprised when my fan said that, you know, I was like, what about my legs or like my teeth or my eyes? And they were like, oh yeah, we love them all too, but like, it's really hard to pick a favorite. And I was like, yeah, there. What in the sweet succulent hell is she talking about? Okay, so question four, how many times has dad taken me to Dubai? Oh Christ, that waste of space. Honestly, you should have seen him run for the hills the second Lottie was born. Couldn't see him for dust. Now it's one holiday a year and he thinks he's best daddy in the world. Still, I suppose most affair babies are just forgotten about, aren't they? So I should give him a tiny bit of credit for that. But you're bloody glad he's not your dad, aren't you? I guess so. Oh, come along, Abigail. It is very sad that your daddy died, but, but it's been years now. But I just had to get over it when my daddy died. No moping about for me. And do you know the answer to this or not? I can work it out. Can you now? Yeah, Lottie went to Dubai for the first time for her sixth birthday. I remember it because um, she was really scared, so I made her this lucky charm necklace to wear on the plane for good luck. Anyway, my point uh, is that if she first went to Dubai for her sixth birthday, she's been doing the same thing every year since. Lottie's now 19. With a simple bit of maths... 13. Put that down. Well, I was going to say 14. Yes, well, you're not exactly Carol Vorderman, are you? So just put the answer in. I'm sorry, but the answer's definitely 14. What are you doing? So, the answer is 14 times. Oh, I love it so much. Well, I'd say well done, but I think we both know that was more luck than judgement. Right, that's all the questions I've got. Someone else can go now. She's only done four questions. At least we got a few points that round. I don't know why I even do these things. I mean, I don't care about winning. Although I do quite like beating people. Still, a few more of these and it'll be wiped from my memory like tears in the rain. What's that from? Is it from a film? Oh Christ, it's not one of Lottie's lyrics, is it? God, I better forget that. It is better to forget things. It just makes life easier. Are you okay? 
You do know there's something wrong with your sister, don't you? What, just in general? No, or... I'm just saying, she's behaving very oddly at the meeting. You know, all night, checking her phone up and down to the window. I, I, I don't know what she was looking for, or who, but all night, just up and down, up and down. A bit like your mother's skirt when she was a teenager. I mean, normally I wouldn't have noticed, or, or cared. But they were my windows she was breathing all over. And it did take Bradley a very long time to clean them. Is there anything else you remember about the meeting? Anything at all? No. Thanks. I am never teaming up with that... Freak again. I was only trying to make conversation. Uh, have you told Mum about your latest purchase? Huh? He's bought a gun, Mum. Literally the very gun that was used to murder that famous astronaut. Well, it's not the exact gun, it's the same make of gun. Right? There's a difference. Oh, for God's sake, you two. If I have to listen to you bickering anymore, I'm going to come up to Bradley's room and blow my own brains out. Speaking with your Auntie June is like trying to charm a rattlesnake. <laughs> but I think we got some useful stuff. I also have some new... Oh! oh! <sighs> News that could really help us. The doctors have managed to narrow the poison down to three possibilities. So let's check out everything that we have so far. Yeah, signal's not great here, guys, so uh, I'd rather do my round later. I can give it a go, as long as someone explains the rules to me again. Oh, no. <sighs> Look, I'll do my round. Let's try and bring some order and civility back to proceedings, shall we? Dare I even say a bit of class? <laughs> I shall perform a piece of music. One of the classics. Gold! Spandau Ballet. One point to me. No, I mean the true classics. No, true! That's another one. Two points to me. I'm talking about Mozart, Bach, Chopin. Actual geniuses. You don't care about geniuses. You only cared about Spandau Ballet and the saxophone player's tight trousers. Well, this may come as a shock to you, June, but some people's tastes mature with age. You're right. And you have. Aged. What are we playing? I shall perform a recognisable melody and you must simply tell me the name of the piece or to make it easier for the slow ones, just tell me the name of the composer. So, we're playing Name That Tune then. Yes, Mother, if you like. Fancy being with me, June. There's nothing I'd like more than to repeatedly explain what's going on to a slightly senile old woman over a dodgy internet connection. I mean, it's one of my favourite things. Well, I might ask a few questions. Well, come along then. Let's get it over with. Nimini pimini, nimini pimini, Millicent millipede, multiply majestically, Millicent millipede, multiply majestically. Hey, Abs, you cool? Great. I'm going to be leaving a lot of this quiz to you, yeah? We're still in transit here. This is vital work. We can't stop. We've got to build these schools. And we can't risk coming across any of these militias either. And they're not the only danger in a place like this, you know? I wish there were more people like you, Toby. Oh, me too, Abs, me too. Is everyone listening? La 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 Can't hear that. Sorry, Ab. Sound keeps cutting out. Can you whistle it back to me? Uh, okay. Oh, I think it's Beethoven. Can't help you. Sorry, Abs. You got this one, yeah? Look, I don't want to lose this quiz again, so I'm counting on you. Hey, les yeux sur la route. 
Les you sell our roots. Well, I'm going with Beethoven. No, I, I, I can't hear you. Sorry, Abs. Look, okay, my guess well, would I'm... be Beethoven. 